I think my goal is always to be an artist, and I really didn't care how that was going to happen. I wanted to do something that I got recognized for because my skill in that was so beyond what was normal that it was recognized as art. just thinking about the ultimate path in life. For me, growing up in my older brother's shadow, who was an incredible athlete, trying to live up to that standard was that extra bit of drive to ensure that I was not just at the level that I could be, but trying to be at the level of people above me. When I met Micah, I didn't just meet Micah, I met the Evangelista brothers. Him and his older brother were the kids that were growing up in Mount Baker that weren't snowboarders. I moved to Mount Baker, Washington when I was 23, and it was one of those catalyst moments that you realize life is short, and if you have a dream, sometimes you just have to take drastic measures to make it happen. And what's interesting is that the same spirit of adventure brought Micah's father, Jim, to the area two decades earlier. One more. Okay. Wait for the Mount Baker van. Here we go. One more, baby. One more. Okay, good girl. Here we go. It was really important to me to get out. When I was young, I looked around at people retired in their motor homes driving around and said, I am not going to do that and drive around, look at the mountains and say, gee, I wish I'd been here 40 years ago. I thought I would never leave Jackson Hole. But I started realizing that I wanted a career. I wanted a career where I could be able to support kids and also spend a lot of time with my kids because my dad didn't spend a lot of time with us. Glacier's a pretty small town. It is the end of the line. And I'd say there's probably about 15 houses here. We have a total of three restaurants, one tiny store and a post office. It hasn't changed much. I moved here in 1988. It's actually smaller now than it was 100 years ago. Glacier at that time had a couple of hotels and was the stopping off point for these gold mines. When Mike was pretty young, I realized that he was a really good athlete. Of course, he always had his brother Matthias. You know, you're three years younger than your brother who's also a gifted athlete. It just pushes you and I could see it just pushing Micah. The other number one reason I think was really contributed to it is my decision to be a teacher and the fact that Julie was a teacher. One of the reasons I did that was so I would have time off to spend with my kids and every weekend we would go skiing. Micah was 13 when Julie and I got divorced. And I think skiing really offered him a refuge. And it's something that he knew. And I think that was a place to put energy and focus. I know it was for me.
When I was 23, when I moved to Mount Baker, it was because one of my best friends killed himself. After having experienced that loss, it very much was about immersing myself into a space that just felt like life. I was drawn to the mystery and this almost storybook quality of the mountains and the forests that surround that area. One of the beautiful things that happened is that I found myself in this space where all of a sudden I was the older brother. What Mount Baker gave to me was it turned into this canvas where I could explore myself and I could do it on my own terms. In essence, it was this place that really allowed me to grow up in a way that I had never before. I really do feel that my life was the dream of multiple generations leading up to this. Julie and I, we didn't really set out to raise Micah in the mountains. We love to be outdoors in the mountains and do outdoor things, and so we just naturally took our kids with us. I never understood really leaving the kids at home to be able to go and do things when the point of it is to enjoy life with your kids outdoors. What I see in Micah that is far beyond his years is patience. I don't know if that patience was something that he had naturally in himself to begin with, but I know that it was honed in his craft. Micah could have been given a full ride to just turn into a skier right away. And instead, what he had to do was work long nights as a chef for many years. And I say, him having that moment to develop that balance within his life is the best thing that ever happened to him. Everything that I've done that has created my skill and allowed me to become a craftsman comes from that balance. It comes from having multiple sides to oneself. What might look like suffering or might look like toil is all part of gaining a better awareness. So when I do make it into the most beautiful parts of life, it is going to make that experience so much more profound. As somebody who is a representative of this Mount Baker community, not just myself, but the entire Locals community have so much pride in watching what Micah has done. Of course you don't necessarily want to be the best skier, but you want to be the best skier that you can be. And Micah is never going to not want to develop his own skiing as far as he can. Does that mean that you have to be the best in the world? Who cares? Because it's not the point. The point is having the best life that you possibly can have. Skiing is a part of that, but so is everything else.